what is up my legends it's scion we're back all right so we're going to talk a little bit about christian and how i beat him how i got him here he is right here as you can see right here this is his base form when he's at four looks kind of silly doesn't he <laughs> got the helmet on and everything i wonder why he decided when he levels up to rank six to take that helmet off but he seems like he's going to be a pretty good sustain with this the blessed one over here and then he also has the ability to um grant damage immunity for one turn when he's healed so yeah he he seems like he's going to be pretty good sustain for damage which pretty much he wipes out rebecca and saya in my opinion i i just think he does and um you see right here if i i can get six more of him 480 like that that's pretty sexy for two turns increase the all target school that like that's crazy that's crazy in pvp like you nuke and then on top of that you like you remove all buffs at 80 percent and then the skill cooldown if you don't kill them they're screwed anyway like that's just crazy anyway so let's talk about what i did to actually beat him um this is not optimal by any means my team is like i don't think they're badass at all to be honest with you and i have a long way to go as far as me working on them but you see what's detrimental is nyx which gets 200 percent extra damage on what she would naturally do which makes her pretty good in this dungeon so i have her at four star i'll show you in a second um, Undertaker Cord, he increases all allies stun immunity by 50%, which is pretty good. Keeps us from getting chain stun in the second round, definitely. And War Reaper Sinclair, who if you got the first two, I can't really see using him. I don't I don't I wouldn't do it at all, to be honest with you, but he um gives cooldowns by one turn. So yeah. Alright. So going into this fight, I have Lepinja's um, Electra, and I had Claude. This is my five-star Claude. I had four-star um, Nyx, two-star Rue, two-star uh, Ramu. Uh, let's, let's see right here. Show you better. I don't want to just say that. All right, this is what I had on Claude. Claude's 15% defense, so, so Fortify Armor, Kai, Suppression, Comrade at Arms, Supreme Shield, and Spirit Trade. Let's move over, see if, oh, okay. Well, here's Armru. Um, you see right here, I do not have all his stuff out for Ru, which is hilarious, but it still worked out for her. Like, I just threw her in there. Like, if you guys remember, I just, got Ru. I just got Ru. So I just spammed her up to um, 60. So this will obviously be a whole lot better for me when I do this. I just I just didn't have the resources. I ran out. I'm getting these characters too fast. So doing all this, I just like, you know, I just didn't have it. So I had uh, um, untalented Ru so far because I think, matter of fact, I, what happened is, and I use the majority of this just to get this 15% armor, and that was it for my stuff. And I was like, F it. And I just went into the fight anyway. So, there's that. Here's my um, Nick. She's already been like this. Uh, I would like to do better with this and get, the, get both of these up to three star. But again, I'm out of resources. Um, she just had I tried this and she just happened to get it the first try so I just kept it and then I would like to do better with blade twister and again I have the magic concealment right there and this is I'm starting out with my lecture she's not ready yet uh, who else Ramu because my Ramu is really trash when it comes to this but I kind of like it I want to get rid of weapon mastery though because she don't attack anything hardly anyway so i rather poison than the weapon mastery her attack is just lame um nerve strike right there you, you can kind of go with what you want you can do decreased damage taken from bosses if you want but i like the nerve strike because it seems to work on a lot of the bosses 
Like it works on the hell of a lot of the bosses and I, I like that. Fortify armor. Adrenaline 6% chance to decrease the cooldowns by one turn, which is nice. I would like to get that higher. And then of course the return to life. So I ended up using Lapinja's Electra because my, as you can see, mine's is not ready. And he's a five star. Let's see, is he on the list? He's not on the list, what happened? Unless he didn't refresh. There he is. This is his. This is his stats right here. I'd like to give you guys a valid look. I should have did my runes too. This is the talents that he has. Details, let's just see my runes. There's runes on Claude. Details here. Whoops. Runes on my Nyx. Runes. Do I even have runes on her yet? Like she she is so new. Oh I do. I don't even remember doing this, to be honest with you. She is so new. Oh, I remember what happened. I took these runes from somebody else. I gotta get rid of that counter attack. I don't like that. Yeah, I remember I took these runes from somebody else. And here's Rambo. I want more defense for Rambo. I'm still working on getting her full 12. But like I said, I'm getting these characters too fast. So I'm just running out of resources at this point. And uh, like you see my gold, like... I need to spread this out a little bit more, but the game is not allowing me to because I just keep getting characters, keep getting, like I just got Christian now. So Christian is just really on the back burner because I have to bring up Electra. And um, I think uh, if I get Sid, because I'm close to beating Sid, even without the recommended team, I'm still close to beating Sid. So I might, then I might have Sid. So right after Electra will be Sid. And then I'll just have to, I'm like, I just don't have the resources for this. I, I think even if I bought, like if I bought stuff, I still wouldn't have the resources for this. So it is what it is. So we'll be right back and we'll get into the fight. Now what I'm going to do for the fight is I'm actually going to speed it up like I um, did with Tail. So you guys, it's a 30 minute fight. So I don't want you guys to look at 30 minutes. It's probably, I'm probably gonna cut it down like 12 minutes or something like that. So you guys could have a more enjoyable time with it. Play some music. So be right back. All right, boys and girls, here we are with Alec. All right, so as you can see, we're running the Claude, the Nyx, the Ramu, the Rue, and the Electra. Now, this is actually really funny because I wasn't actually trying to win this fight. I just wanted to practice. And I didn't even, you know, fully talent Rue because I wasn't trying to win. And then I was like, you know what? While I was going along in this particular fight, I was like, all right, let me see how far I can go. I, I knew full well that it was going to be hard because, you know, pretty much... Nyx's, Nyx's damage in a decoy in this fight and what you can really do is you can see that I kind of go back and forth where um, which each tank that it hits so they don't take equal um, they don't take no damage equal so eventually he will take out Nyx as you can see right there but he doesn't do that much damage that he really becomes a threat in this round and it's really not hard at all to be honest with you as long as you have Claude and Electra at a good enough level to take it you only really need four stars they're both five stars because of course you know Lapinja put his character five stars and mine is a five star on Claude but you don't really need them to be that they can be four stars and tank this just fine as far as maybe Ashley, Nyx or Teo they need to be five or six stars now, I would say that like you see even with my um, four star Nick, she pretty much is getting beat up. So it, I got to the point where I just started protecting her a little bit more with on um, cord shield, as you can see right there, and then rotating it with um, with electro shield, and then keeping heals up as best as possible. Or sometimes I just wouldn't even attack. Like right there, I had the stacks up and did a hundred k on him. Like that was that was sick. You can go back on that and pause that so you can see it. 
that's gonna get aggro. He's gonna roll over there, smack her real quick. All right, so you see he's pretty much about to go down and it's the same thing. I rotate tapping him with each tank and making him go back and forth. It works out pretty well. All right, now this fight. This fight is interesting because what you can do with this fight is between um, Cordelia and Alfred is you can keep hitting them and whittling them down. Uh, the only problem I have here is that Cordelia eventually is going to smack down Nyx. So what I did is I just didn't bring back Nyx. I just left her out for this and just whittled them down because it's not a whole lot they can do as long as you don't kill one of them before um, each other without killing them both at the same time. Now take note that if you use cards 3 skill and use Lumen Death it's going to straight up kill Alfred. Even at that much health right there, it just straight kills Alfred, which leaves you with Cordelia who gets pissed off and nukes you every other round. So don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. Um, wait. You know, beat both of them down. And what you're going to notice is that um, Cordelia is going to taunt you a lot. And sometimes Alfred will to keep you away from actually doing like what the damage you need to do on an individual. And it kind of sucks a little bit, but as long as you just keep whittling them down as best as possible when the taunt runs out it, it's fine like this this stage is pretty much fine you see i'm not in any danger really other than nyx keeps going down because cordelia's aoe just keeps clipping her and, and taking her down to the point where i just like you know what you stay dead nyx like because i'm tired of dealing with that let's just wear them down at this point so you see along um the lines again um rue is not even fully talented it, and it doesn't matter. Like, she's just still sitting there. Like, I was pretty shocked, to be honest with you. I thought her talents would mean more in this fight, but they just don't. Like, she's fine without him, which is just crazy, which is a testament to how good her character is and how good her kid is. It wasn't intentional. Don't think that I tried to, to do this to fl or floss or dab or anything like that. That shit was not intentional. I wasn't trying to win this fight at all. It just happened that way because I wanted to practice with this particular team because this is the first time I used this particular team. I was using a different team before and it it probably would be a little bit more safe, but it just ended up taking too long and I got impatient and messed up with Damien. And what I was doing initially was I was just leaving with Claude, having two ruse, and then running around with, um, yeah, Claude, two ruse, and Nyx. Now I think it was Claude, Two ruse around Ramu and Nyx, and it was taking too long. It just, for whatever reason, it was taking too long. It's not that much of a difference, but it just, it wasn't working properly for me. So you see there, I caused Lumen Death on Alfred and then timed it because she's gonna nuke. So I timed the Electra um, shield so we didn't get hit with the nuke and she pretty much went down. So now you have this bad boy, which again, what you can do with Christian is you can rotate back and forth hitting him like I would make one tank hit him and the other tank defend one tank hit so no pretty much he did this and now just rotate it back and forth so you see now that he has um, too much aggro on him I would you know go back and try to get the aggro on to um, Electra which really wasn't working all that well so I decided to heal <laughs> as best as possible and work and get a little bit damage in with Nyx when I can because I don't want him to run over there and hit both Nyx and Claude at the same time because he has, actually has a chance to kill them. All right, so we're doing good damage. And again, you know, Nyx is going to go down from collateral standing next to um, the Claude, which is fine. It's fine. I just let her keep doing that and whittle him down and stagger a bit of the Resurrects. A nice, well-timed uh, three skill with Claude. To get that heal going back. And you can't see it a lot, but I am defending. Well, you can see it right there. I'm defending a good a good deal when I only want certain people to be hit. That's what made this like this little little stretch right here take a little bit longer because I was defending them so he just wasn't one shot and killing people because I didn't want all my cooldowns to be screwed up by the time Damien decided to bring his cheap ass out here which he still ended up being cheap anyway even right there I tried to use Ramu because she was the one who had health 
to try to keep keep them away from the left side so I can save some cooldowns a little bit. So you see I'm still hitting with Rama when I wasn't really doing that before. All right, again, I'm still trying to get him on that side where I finally got to Ramu's um, cooldown. And I just find it finally to just drop him with Nyx. All right, so the main thing that screws you right here is they both are going to ultimate back to back. And that's what pretty much took out on um, both tanks. It was pretty fast, which I still got lucky because I was able to um, stagger the cooldowns. This is why you want to stagger the cooldowns a little bit and stall before you kill him. So I can just bring anybody back. In case he, uh, if he kills a healer, it's fine because if he kills um, Ramu, Ramu is just going to get up again and then I can bring back people. So that's all fine. You just want to stagger it so you're just in a good place to actually be able to deal with Damien when he comes out. And pretty much, again, this is where I was aggro swapping. Because my team is weaker than what normal people would bring in here, so I'll just aggro swap back and forth. Aggro swap and stall. So now we got them going pretty much they took out cords. So now we got them beaten down a little bit on Electra. So I would defend here. Again, you know, just keeping them over here on this side and stalling until the cooldowns come back. So you see the defend coming up right here. And they came close. They came close right there. And that allowed me to get Claude back and use his skill, which also heals everybody. So on the um, right side, they're going to be healed back. And right there, I was just trying to figure out what I wanted to do, which tank that I wanted to actually use that for. Again, see, I just didn't even bring Nyx back. Right here, technically I didn't really need Nyx, and you, I don't need Nyx, I can just, I, if I want to be safe with this, I can use Ramu. That would be being safe, and because my Karen isn't high, but if I was, if I had Karen, then I would use Karen to actually be there. If I had Sid, then I would put Sid there, because I technically don't really need Nyx. I can just do this slower, and be like ultra safe, and then like, you know, never even really hardly see anybody die. So keep that in mind if you want to emulate this and you know this this is a little bit budget my team isn't all that great besides my cord my cord's a five star of course so my dicks is a four star but by now everybody should have stuff like that so it's not like you wouldn't be able to afford a team like this and everybody else is two star except for um my friend you know lapinja he's he's five star so if you, you can get if like a five star or six star um lecture you're good to go Again, so again, we're stalling, and I just didn't even bring back Nyx just to pretty much not have her be in the way right now and keep things under control. Because again, you wanted to stall a little bit and make sure that revives are up so I can keep the tanks alive, much less not her. All right, so they again, they, they, they got it close, so I stalled long enough to bring back both Cord and Nyx again. And I decided to throw Nyx out there and actually I attacked on purpose right there just to um, get some extra damage down to bring Damien down again like to bring him a little bit closer down and you see he's get he's getting to that danger zone and I didn't mind Nyx actually dying again right there she kind of did her purpose right there putting extra damage on Damien to get him lower and get him out of here now this ended up being a 33 minute fight and like you know it's a little bit little little endurance because like you know like again i did things a little bit harder than i had to with rude not being talented and my team is what my team is my ru and my, my ru and my ramu are not in the greatest of places so this this fight of course will get worlds better as they get stronger and then as i get i, I, I eventually do want to put nix at um, five star, she probably won't be six. I won't do six, but I want to eventually get her to five star because I think she's a pretty good unit, pretty good um, dark unit. So, and she's a bay, so you know, you gotta respect the bay. All right, so Damien is getting lower. So again, we stalled long enough to actually get Claude and Nick back. Got some heals going. Got the shield out. Ramu is pretty much about to go down for the count. I mean, yeah, Damien. So Damien's out of there. So now it's just Christian left again, and that's it. 
this fight's pretty much over. And in fact, I kind of actually allowed somebody to die here because I was just was trying to kill him. Once I figured out that I could actually get the win. That's all she wrote. So you go Pinja. <clears throat> Again, I wasn't even sure that I was going to be able to do this, but I did. So I'll catch you guys later. Peace.